Hi, this is Krista at The Secret Yarnery. Today we are going to make these fast and charming crochet mini Christmas stockings. If you are looking for a fast and fun stash busting Christmas crochet project, this pattern is for you. They work up really, really quick and just use tiny little bits of yarn, so great as a stash buster. They're just right for small little gifts. They look amazing on your fireplace and they work up really quick. It's only nine rows of crochet and you even get a little hanging tag so your stocking is complete. If you'd like to follow along with a written pattern, it's available over on my website, secretyarnery.com and you don't have to worry about being able to read a pattern. All of my patterns are written in plain English just like I'm speaking in this video. To make these crochet mini Christmas stockings, I'm just using four worsted weight acrylic, so three different colors of four weight worsted acrylic yarn. I'm also using a 5.5 millimeter crochet hook, but you can use a five millimeter or a six millimeter. You will also need a pair of scissors, two stitch markers if you have them handy, and a needle for sewing in your ends. So let's get started. your first color and make a slip knot just any which way you normally do. You don't need a very long tail, we're just going to work over it and snip that one off. Shrink that down and pop it onto your hook and chain five. One, two, three, four, and five. Now into the very first chain we made right here right on top of our slip knot. We're just going to pop our hook in anywhere, anywhere into that first chain. Get your tail laying down along your work and you want to make a U shape underneath your hook just like that. Holding it open with your finger and thumb and slip stitch to form a ring. And chain three. One, two, and three. So that counts as our first double crochet and make two more double crochets into the center of the ring right where you're holding it open. So wrap your yarn and two double crochets into the center of that ring. There is one and two. So that counts as our first three double crochets. Chain two, one and two. Taking care, we wanna work over our tail for this whole entire round. So three more double crochets into the center of that ring. One, two, and three, chain two, one and two, and three more double crochets. So this is just like making a granny square. One, two, and three, chain two, one and two. Hold that tail and your ring, just slide those stitches back. We want a more space so our stitches can lay nice and flat along our ring. We're still working over our tail. So we've done three sets of three. We want a total of six sets of three. So keep going. Three double crochets into the center of that ring. Working over your tail. There's two. Here is three. Chain two, one and two. And three more double crochets into the center of the ring. One, two, and three. So there is five. One, two, three, four, and five sides. Slide those stitches back again. Chain two, one, and two. And we want to do three more double crochets into the center of that ring, making sure they're going to lay down nice and flat, just like the rest of them. So slide your stitches back until you have enough room and then three more double crochets into the center of your ring. One, two, and three. Chain one, and we're gonna join with a single crochet. So right into the top of our chain three, right there we wanna get two strands on the top of our hook. We're gonna go in and make one single crochet to join. One single crochet. Just hold that corner space open with your finger and thumb and chain three. One, two, and three. 
Now into this very same space that you're holding open, two double crochets. One, and two. Now jump straight over into the next space and we're going to do three double crochets. One, two, and three. Chain two, one, and two. Grab your work and your last stitches and just slide them apart so we have more space on that flat part of our corner and three more double crochets into that same space. One, two, and three. Into the next corner space, we're gonna do a corner. So we're gonna do three double crochets, chain two, and three double crochets, all into the same space. So there's two double crochets. Here's three. Chain two, one and two. Slide your stitches back to give yourself some more room and three more double crochets into the center of that corner space. One, two, and three. So you can pause the video and do that into each of the next three corners. Each of these corner spaces is getting three double crochets, chain two, and three double crochets. So pause the video and keep working around and I'll meet you when we get back to where we started. Have you subscribed to this channel? Go ahead and hit this button under this video right now so you don't miss out on any more fun stuff just like this. When you get back to where we started, we have to work straight back into that same space. So into the same space, three double crochets to finish off that corner. So one, two, and three. just like that. Chain two, one and two, and now we're gonna slip stitch to the top of that chain three to join. We're gonna slip stitch right there into the top of the chain three. So just pop your hook in, two strands of that stitch on the top of your hook. Make sure you get two strands and slip stitch to join. Chain one to secure your yarn. Cut your yarn, leaving a long enough tail to sew in with a needle later. Pull your hook up and your yarn through and snug that down to secure. And that finishes the center color. To start the next color, just insert your hook into any corner space. Loop of your new color on your hook. Bring it through and slip stitch with both strands to join. Drop your tail just holding it along the top of your work. And chain two, one and two. So this counts as our first double crochet. And we're gonna do two more double crochets into the center of that space. One and two. Into this center space here, we're gonna do four double crochets. So right into the center, four double crochets. One, two, three, and four. And into the next space, we're gonna do a corner. So three double crochets, chain two, and three double crochets. And this is where my tail is. So when, whenever you get to your tail, just bring it forward so we can work over it into that space. So into the next corner space, three double crochets, chain two, and three double crochets. So one, two, and three. Chain two, one, and two, and into the same corner space, three double crochets. One, two, and three. So we wanna mark these two corners here with our stitch markers. So mark the corner you just made with a stitch marker, and you can also mark that corner spot. We're gonna know where it is, but just so we know to move our stitch marker up for the next round, we're just gonna mark where we're doing our corners. Into the space along the side, three double crochets. One, 
two, and three. And now we're not gonna do corners anymore, we're gonna do bends. So a bend is just four double crochets into that corner space. So four double crochets into the corner. One, two, three, and four. Into the next space along the side, three double crochets. One, two, and three. And into the corner, we're gonna do a bend. So four double crochets into that corner space. One, two, three, and four. Into the space along the side, three double crochets. One, two, and three. And into the corner space, four double crochets. One, two, three, and four. Into the space along the side, three double crochets. One, two, and three. And into the corner, we're gonna do a bend, so four double crochets. One, two, three, and four. Into the space along the side, three double crochets. One, two, and three. Don't worry if it's all curled up and looking terrible, that is normal. Don't even worry about it. And now into our first corner space where we started, we're gonna do three double crochets. So three double crochets into the same corner space where we started. One, two, and three. Chain one, and we're gonna make a single crochet to join right into the top of that chain three. We wanna get two strands of that chain on the top of our hook. So pop your hook in, two strands of that stitch on the top of your hook, one single crochet to join. Just hold that corner space open with your finger and thumb and chain three. One, two, and three. Into that very same space, two double crochets. One, and two. Into the next space, three double crochets. One, two, and three. Now wiggle your finger in between those stitches in the middle, that set of four double crochets. Wiggle so you have two stitches on each side. And right in the middle there, we're gonna do three double crochets right into the space between those stitches. Three double crochets. One, two, and three. Into the space, three double crochets. One, two, and three. And into the corner space, we're gonna do a corner. So three double crochets, chain two, and three double crochets, all into the same corner space. So there's two, here is number three. Chain two, one and two. Wrap your yarn into the same corner space, three double crochets. One, two, and three. 
I'm just going to move this stitch marker into the center of those stitches I just made just to mark where my corners are. We don't have to move it up anymore. We'll just mark where our corners are going to be for the rest of our stocking. So three double crochets into each space along the sides. One, two, and three. Into the next space along the side, three double crochets. One, two, and three, and into our bend, we're gonna do a bend. So these are our four double crochets. We're gonna look for the center, just wiggle your finger in between. So you have two double crochets on each side, and right into that middle space, we're gonna do another bend. So four double crochets right into the center of those stitches down below. Four double crochets. into the space along the sides, three double crochets into each, one, two, three, into the next space, three double crochets, one, two, and three, into the bend, we're just going to wiggle our fingers in, so two stitches on each side of our finger, and into that same space, four double crochets. One, two, three, and four. Into each of the next two spaces along the side, three double crochets into each. One, two, three, into the next space, three double crochets. If I'm going too fast, just pause the video and get caught up. Two, and three, and into that bend, we're gonna do another bend. So every set of four is gonna get a four right in the middle. So. Wrap your yarn, four double crochets into the center of that bend. One, two, three, four. Into each of the two spaces along the side, three double crochets into each. One, two, and three, and into the next space, three double crochets. One, two, and three. Into our bend, wiggle your fingers right in the center of those stitches, and four double crochets into the center, just into that space, four double crochets. So there's two, three, and four, and into the spaces along the side, three double crochets into each. One, two, three, into the next space, three double crochets. One, two, and three. Now into that space where we start it, just hold that stitch marker out of the way. We're gonna do three double crochets into that same corner space. One, two, and three. kind of making like a jeans pocket shape. And it's all kind of wobbly and weird. So if yours is wobbly and weird, yes, so is mine. And we're finished with this color, so we're gonna chain two, one, 
and two, and a slip stitch to the top of that chain three to join, making sure we have two strands of that stitch on the top of our hook. So pop your hook in, slip stitch to join, chain one to secure your yarn, cut your yarn, leaving a long enough tail to sew in later, pull your hook up and your yarn through, and snug that down to secure. Now this is a great time to just sew in these tails really quick. And that finishes our second color. To start the third color, just grab your next color yarn and insert your hook into this corner space over here. We ended our last tail on this side, so I don't want to sew in all my tails on the same side of the stocking. So just start in this corner over here, loop of yarn on your hook, bring it through and slip stitch with both strands to join. Drop your tail just holding it along the top of your work and chain two, one and two. This counts as your first double crochet, but if you join your yarn in a different way, chain three. Wrap your yarn and two double crochets into that same space. One and two. And now we're gonna work around exactly like we did in our last row until we get over to our other stitch marker. On the top, we're gonna to be doing something else. So into each space along the side, three double crochets. One two, and three. Into the next space, three double crochets. One, two, and three. And into the next space, three double crochets. One, two, and three. Now we're at our bend, so bends always get bends. Wiggle your finger in between those pairs of double crochets, or in between those stitches, and make four double crochets right into the center space, in between those stitches. One, two, three, and four. So now you can pause the video and keep working around. Each space along the side gets three double crochets and each bend gets four double crochets right into the center of those stitches, right into the space in between. So three double crochets into each space along the side, four double crochets into the center of each bend and I'll meet you when we get back to our stitch marker. Looking for a fabulous crochet community? Join our Friday live chats every Friday at 5 p.m. in Nairobi. When you get back to your stitch marker into that corner space, we're just gonna do our regular corner. So three double crochets, chain two, and three double crochets. One, two, three, chain two, one, two, and three more double crochets into that same corner space. One, two, and three. Now into this next space, we're gonna do four double crochets. So right after our corner, four double crochets into the next space. One, two, three, and four. Each of the next two spaces, three double crochets into each. One, two, and three. Into the next space, three double crochets. One, two, and three. And into the last space before the corner, four double crochets. So four double crochets into the last corner. One, two, three, 
and four. Into your corner space, three double crochets. One, two, and three. And we're not done with this color, so we're gonna join with a chain one and a single crochet into the top of that chain three, making sure two strands of that chain are on the top of our hook, one single crochet to join, holding that corner space open with your finger and thumb, and chain three. One, two, and three. Now into the same corner space, two double crochets, one, and two. And now you can pause the video and keep working along. Three double crochets into each space along the side. So there's four spaces along the sides for this row. And into the bends, we're gonna do a bend. So right in between those stitches, four double crochets. So pause the video and make three double crochets into each of these spaces along the sides. And bends, four double crochets right into the center of those stitches all the way around. And I'll meet you when we get back to the corner with our stitch marker. So this is what mine looks like now. It is all weird. And I am back to the corner where our stitch marker is. So into that corner space, three double crochets. One. Two. And three. Chain two, one and two. Three more double crochets into that same corner space. One, two, and three. Into the next space, three double crochets. One, two, and three. And into the space between these pairs of double crochets, or in between the four double crochets, just wiggle your finger in and three double crochets into that same space, right in between those stitches. One, two, and three. Into each of the next three stitches along the top, three double crochets into each. One, two, and three. Into the next space, three double crochets. One, two, and three. And into the next space, three double crochets. One, two, and three. Into the center of our next stitches, those four double crochets we made right into the middle, three double crochets right into the center. One, two, and three. Into the next space, three double crochets. One, two, and three. And into our corner space, three double crochets. One, two, and three. Now we're gonna join with a double crochet. So right into the top of that chain, right into the top of the chain three, two strands of that stitch on the top of our hook. So wrap your yarn into the top of the chain three, one double crochet, one double crochet, just like that. So that leaves our yarn right along the back of our boot. So that's what we wanna do. Now for the hanging tag, chain 15, 
or any length. You could make your hanging tag any length you like, but 15 works for me. So there's one, two, three, 14, and 15. And now fold your stocking. We want our stitch markers touching. So fold it in half, our stitch markers along the top edge. And there is our boot, just like that. So now take your hook. We have our chain. It's laying nice and flat. So now we're going to start joining our stockings. So put your hook right back down into that same stitch, just right there. Pop your hook in. Make sure it's not twisted and pop it into that first chain along the back layer of your boot. And we're going to slip stitch just to get ourselves started. So there's our little slip stitch. Our hanging tag is there looking super cute. And chain one, just to get ourselves a little bit of height. So now put your finger through both of those corner spaces and make one single crochet. And now wiggle your fingers after the next set of three stitches. And now we're going to go into the next stitch. So that's the top of our chain. And we're going to find the first stitch of the next layer, the bottom layer right here. So the first double crochet on both sides. And make one single crochet to join. And now into the next stitch, grab the first stitch, grab the second stitch. So we're just going to be lining them up one, one, one. So into the first stitch and the second stitch, both layers, single crochet to join. And into the last stitch of those set of three, both layers, one single crochet to join. And we're going to do that all the way along until we get to our curve, until we get to the heel of our boot. So one single crochet into each pair of stitches. And if you just line it up in sets of three, that will line up your stitches along the top. So each pair gets one single crochet to hold it together. Just like that. Just your stitches. So each pair gets one single crochet to join. So just keep working your way down. You don't have to go quickly. And when you get to the spaces, we don't do anything in the spaces. We're just working in to each pair of stitches all the way down along our work. So here is our last set of three before we get to our heel. There we are. So when we get to our heel, we're going to work into the first pair. So the first pair of that four stitches one single crochet, chain one, and now into the next pair, one single crochet, into the next pair, one single crochet, and chain one. Now into the last stitch of that heel, one single crochet. So that just helps us get around our bend. And now same thing, one single crochet into each stitch all the way along the bottom of your stocking. So you can pause the video and just keep working along. One single crochet into each pair of stitches all the way along the bottom of your boot. And now keep going until you get to the ball of your foot. When you get to your ball into the first pair of stitches, one single crochet, chain one, and then one single crochet into each of the next two pairs of stitches. One single crochet into the next and one single crochet into the next. Chain one. And now just finish off your stocking. One single crochet into each pair. All the way up until you get to the tip of the toe. When you get to this very last stitch, there's only one stitch left, so I don't work into that very last stitch right there. I'm just going to do a chain one to, to secure my yarn and leave a long enough tail to join all that up. So pull your hook up and your yarn through, snug that down, thread your needle, and go right into that stitch all the way down, 
through to the bottom of that stitch. Bring your yarn through. And just snug that toe right up until you like how it looks. Just kind of like that. And then work in your tail. Pop out your stitch markers. Sew in your last green tail and you're finished. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial as much as I did. I'm waiting for you in that video right there and stay hooked.